Howdy fellow Submission peeps. In today's video we're going to be doing a fun spring project. We're going to be doing a garden flag. Um, as always we'll link in the description where we get this from. Um, I'm not even sure where I got this so I'll have to just throw the link in the description because I've been meaning to do this for months and I just haven't gotten around to it. But here it is still in the plastic ready to go. It's uh it's almost like a burlap looking garden flag. We'll go ahead. <laughs> So after some technical difficulties, uh, we'll go ahead and get this guy out. I didn't know there was a little flap on it. There's a little flappy flap. There we go. And as you can see, it's just a typical little garden flag. It's going to be really cool when it's done. Um, and this is the image we're going to be putting on it. We're going to put in a welcome rooster. And that should be really nice. That's going to be really, and I'll, uh, as always, I'll link where I get those files um, and the font and everything. All right, guys, uh, we'll go ahead and get the design out of the way. This one is uh, 10 and a half inches by 12 inches is what it actually is. Uh, yep, 10 and a half by 12.04 about 12 inches and what we did we just took a watercolored uh, rooster that we got off uh, etsy here that's the exact one matter of fact um, i'll drop a link in the description for this and that's not it however that is a really cool uh, logo i'm doing it's all vectorized logo design is pretty fun too but nonetheless um the font i'm using is uh is actually called black sword and someone else mentioned it to me, and I kind of I really like the font. It's really cool. Um, these were my three font options. I finally I come down to. I almost did this one, which is awesome birds. And then uh, your Belusa was the other one, but I ended up going with black sword and did a white outer glow to kind of give it some visual separation here. Because I mean, it's gonna print. It's gonna print on white paper, and it'll that way you'll have a little, uh, little outline there to kind of help pop it off of the, uh, of the page a little bit. So we'll go ahead and print that. As always, we're printing on a sub paper, and we're printing it to our Epson seventy seven twenty, and we are gonna do eleven by seventeen paper, premium presentation mat high. Uh, we're gonna mirror the image. Um, we're going to do ICM. So we'll go ahead and run that to the printer and we'll get on the other side. All right, guys, um, we got our print ready. We're going to go ahead and lint roll this. Get everything good lint rolled. We do this just in case any blue clothes gets on there. Um, will give us the little blue spots of death is what I call them because they really screw up the print and they suck and it's terrible. So uh, we got it printed, ready to press. All right, guys, we're ready to press. Uh, we have our press heated up to 385 degrees and we're going to press it at, uh, at 60 seconds. Go ahead and make sure we got enough pressure. Okay, we got enough pressure. We're going to be good. We're going to, uh, as always, we're going to put... Uh, a piece of uncoated butcher paper, butcher paper down to protect our press. Um, how should I do this? I don't want this seam to get in there. So we're going to end up doing it like this. We're going to do it wide ways. That way the seam can kind of stick off the edge and be just fine. And we're going to give it another coating of butcher paper. And that way we can press it and... That way we're not worried about getting our heat press dirty, but if any ink or anything. We're gonna give it about a 10 second pre-press and that'll, uh, that way we can get any excess moisture out and we can get the, uh, the canvas good and flat and everything. So that's about 10 seconds. And there we go. Nice and perfect. Now we know the top part's up here, so we need to not mess up our image alignment because <laughs> that would suck. I've done it before, but, you know, part of it. Um, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Go ahead and get that lined up for us. Get it horizontally centered, vertically centered. I think we're good to go. I don't usually use tape on those. 
personally, I just kind of roll with them. Oh, don't be not chemical over. So we're doing uh, butcher paper, substrate, sublimation paper, um, two sheets of copy paper, just, just to get a, ink a little extra place to go. And we're gonna do one more uncoated butcher paper. And we're just gonna clamp it. And we're good to go. We're doing it at 385 degrees at 60 seconds. And it should look superb when it's done. All right, guys, we have about 10 seconds left. We're going to go ahead and glove up. Uh, these gloves are available on Amazon. There will be a link in the description below where you can get those. Um, they're great heat-proof gloves. They're a little too light duty for mugs and stuff, but they do pretty good. Now we're gently going to open. We've got transfer smoke. So we're going to kind of hold everything. I usually just, I just put the paper in the floor. And then we're going to uh, just kind of pick it up. And there we go. Nice and neat. So we get off the paper. And we are good to go. And oh yeah. Colors are spectacular. We're going to give it a quick wet roll just to, just to raise the... Uh, just to raise the fabric a little bit, you know. Do the same thing with t-shirts, that way it'll, that way it doesn't have that, uh, you know what I mean. Let's try to get some of the lines out. Granted, it's still gonna have some press lines, but just from the paper. But we can minimize those by stretching it. So we'll crumple and stretch that a little bit. Just kind of stretch it a little bit. Just kind of give it a couple direction stretches. Try not to hit my hand on the heat press. And bam. It's not perfect, but it's really good. But anyway, guys and girls, we got that uh, taken care of. Overall, it looks absolutely amazing. Like, I'm, I'm thrilled with how it looks. It's freaking great. They're going to love it. Um, those things sub just amazingly well. Uh, now, how they hold up outdoors, don't really know that yet. We're, going, we're just going to see how that goes. Um, but they, they sub great. I'm really happy with it. As always, I will link in the description below where, where you can find these at. And guys, I really appreciate all the support. Um, we're we're probably going to hit 10,000 subscribers this week, uh, but man, I'm I'm just thrilled with everything. I, I love it. I love it. Um, so if you like this video, if you found it helpful, uh, feel free to subscribe and drop a like on the video and turn on those bell notifications for future content. And guys, I really appreciate everything. And y'all have a good day. We got our, whoa, <laughs> let's not do that. Here we go. I'll show you how you do this. Thanks, heat press. Screwing my shot up.